Uh, welcome to uh, the first of a couple of, maybe two or three uh, official sort of startup uh, sketching tutorials for PowerX V10 in COVID times. I'm using, I'm going to be using a, a fairly large sketchbook here. Uh, this is a 14 by 17. Uh, try zooming in here in a bit. Uh, I'll be using most likely just a B mechanical pencil an eraser obviously and sorry what we want to sketch here is this uh, little uh, charging thing we there is a video of this uh, I'm gonna draw it in a way sketch it in a way sorry that uh, emphasizes the prongs top surface uh, the, the overall shape and this um, uh, what do you call it? Well, cable cover, cable guide at the, at the base. Uh, we're going to miss the logo, Phillips, and but we will be able to get in this uh, part line. So the goal is to draw it probably in about this orientation. Uh, but I'm going to start with drawing various uh, sketches here, our thumbnails. Uh, so I'm just going to go through how to fill the page with uh, your uh, thumbnails and but our final big sketch will probably be in this direction. So, but for now, thumbnails it is. The follow-on video will be how to get this bigger uh, sketch sorted out. Uh, I'll also post, I hope, the final result. And just get started here. Uh, again, just go to a new page. Uh, this paper is actually very thin uh, paper. It's intended for posters. It's quite expensive. Uh, but it, there's not much of it, 50 sheets. So I'm going to try and use it all up. Uh, but again, drawing on a pad makes our life easier. Sorry for the squeaks here. Just moving around a bit. Um, trying to uh, sketch here uh, in an efficient way. Now, I want five uh, sketches. I also want to be able to digitize my hand eventually. So I need to leave, I'm going to leave a little bit of space over here-ish, uh, or somewhere, it doesn't really matter. But as long as I can get my hand into the, the photo, then that's perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave some space around uh, on the edge here. I know, I think we can see most of it. Yeah, so I'm going to draw quite big for a moment and zoom in to one of the thumbnails. I need five uh, thumbnails, is what Colin, that painful guy, is asking for. Uh, we can split it up any way we want, uh, but on a shape like this, probably makes sense to do maybe three by three. So I'm going to first, very light, uh, just split my page up. Now, again, I'm going to do my best here to just draw straight down through the middle of the page lightly, just to give myself a chance. Uh, to get this sorted out. Um, the Again, just like eyeballing it. And split it into thirds-ish. Again, not a big deal. I'm gonna leave this for name and my hand and all that sort of stuff. So now that I've got six divisions, I'm going to use these fives. I'll just label them as uh, one, two, obviously. It doesn't really matter what order I do them in. Again, I'm drawing this guy. Um, so I'm going to focus on number two here. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit so we can see better what's going on. Seems okay. There we go. So, if I go slightly out of screen, sorry, I'm going to try and not move the paper too much here. Now, uh, it doesn't matter which one I'm doing here. I'm going to pick maybe a the, uh, mm, like I need five thumbnails. Essentially, I'm going to show one that's not much use, uh, to be honest. I'm going to pick one kind of like this. It's going to hide the prongs. Uh, again, my goal is probably going to... I made a video earlier of you know, looking at this thing, this is kind of a nice view, but I'll draw one like this. 
uh, thinking maybe this and this is essential. Uh, again, the Phillips is upside down, but that's not a big deal. So right now I'm just going to have a look at it uh, and try and figure out the proportions of it. It's about, let's see if I can get a ruler here actually, hold on. So I'm going to measure this, uh, not using it, but just to have a look at it. Uh, so this is, looks like a metric part. It's about 25 by 40 by 45. So it's a, if that's about 50, that's about 25 and that's about 40. So I'm going to make this about one to two to two. It's not exact, uh, but for now the thumbnail will be fine. So one is our length here, two, two. Now if I want, I can use a strip. Well, I have one that I was using earlier, so I might just reuse it. So here's my, again, Mech 200 style. For those who haven't seen this before, because uh, fortunately you didn't have Colin for Mech 200, this will be also an intro how to use the scratch ruler. So I've picked a unit before, which is about three fingers. It's not a bad size for this, uh, based on my object. So I've got two to one. So I'm going to start by drawing, as usual, uh, sort of maybe one third over within this little portion. The usual, in this case, I'm going to draw it isometric about, uh, 30 degrees. Just trying to figure out which is the best way to draw this. I'm actually going to draw it upright. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to draw it like this. So, because that way it doesn't really fit into my page. So here's my one by two. Now, I've moved up quite high already, so I'm going to actually move my center to the whole point of this sketch is to be able to figure out how to lay it out, what is where it's sticking up. Again, just trying to keep things under control uh, ish and just draw a thumbnail of the part. Again, this is quite rough. Uh, we're not getting carried away here uh, too much. And so I'm just laying out my kind of initial box here. So as we see, we're going to start getting out of shape. Sorry, try to keep this oriented. So we can see we've got some fillets, or sorry, rounds on the four corners. So that's these corners here. So again, just kind of trying to keep it even about the same size. I'm just guessing the size because I'm just doing a layout thumbnail here. So this is my beginning. Again, I'm going to put a line here in the middle at the top just to figure out where my uh, uh, division uh, part line is and where this cable cover comes out. So again, we've got uh, parts figuring out where the fillets end and just extending those out to the far ends. Silhouettes, where we have them. And these can go right through the part. So again, we can start to fill in the backside. There's my other fillet. This one comes from the silhouette and touches where this fillet is. Silhouette up to the edge. Again, we've got a nice idea of what the shape is. The prongs are centered. Now, if I just have a look at it, will we be able to see the prongs and where they, they kind of pop out for me here? I'm just, I'm not going to figure out exactly where they are yet and just say the prongs are somewhere, uh, maybe below. Like, is it perfect? No, but the prongs are out there. So that's our goal. There's a hole in the prong. And then both. I won't be able to see that one very much at all. So that's our prong. Is it correct? Uh, no, no, it's not. 
it's not even in the right spot. Anyway, we can get this correct or more correct. I'm gonna redraw this one uh, in the uh, bigger sketch if we pick this view, and we're not going to. Sorry, just redrawing quickly. Doesn't look quite right. There we go. And then again, this will be vertically below. So we've got the same thing. And then the hole will be somewhat visible on the side there. So that's fine. Just marking it in and very quickly just trying to, because again, we're drawing thumbnails here. There's somewhat detailed, but not too carried away. Nice. This up here will have an ellipse, which is a circle in isometric. And we'll have this part line edges go around. There'll be, there's a part, there's actually an edge in here. So we'll just double up that line as we go. It actually pokes right into the thing. We've got a further sort of outside edge where it flattens against the part. Ugly work here, but whatever. And it sticks up. Oops, sorry. It sticks up about, I would say about half a unit. So if our unit is this, we're going for about a quarter. So again, I can, I already folded it to find the half, and I can fold it again to find a quarter. So we can put a little quarter unit onto our ad hoc ruler. The cable is gonna, I'm gonna have it stick out straight for a bit. And it's about that high. There'll be a top to it and a casing and a edge. And the cable comes out and maybe it starts to curve away. Now, I'm not going to get carried away yet with these patterns. We can see there's little dents here. Again, if we have a contour line, we can see that it's kind of a couple of increasingly large dents, if you want to call it that. That's the official term, I suppose. Uh, that follows up and then hides the... Again, I'm not worried about the details yet. This is just a thumbnail that's going to figure out if, in fact, this is a view I want to use. It's not bad. It's ugly, but it's not bad. So again, just tidy it up a bit with a silhouette. Sorry, turning my page a bit here. Emphasize this little crack here in the silhouette where the part uh, divides or part line is. Go around the part. Just emphasizing the silhouette and also that there are two, oh sorry, three parts in this visible, the visible part of this assembly. There's the um, cable guide or cable protector, there's the end cap and the main body of the charger body. So we're making a big deal about that. Uh, one last thing I'm going to put on here are some surface features. There's a logo here. I'm not going to get carried away with where that is, except for it's about this big. See, it looks like it starts at the ends of the fillets. On this side, there is a, a panel, which we talked about in the other video. And it also starts kind of just below the fillets, so we know where that is. I'm just going to guess lengthwise. It's on the flat surface. This is just a rectangle. And there we go. It's not perfectly proportioned yet, uh, but it is a thumbnail. Uh, I want to do this four more times. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here and then go on and put what I'm intending the final view to be on in part three. So thanks for watching. Uh, the next video will be how to do the next thumbnail uh, in the correct orientation. We're also going to use a power line which is not isometric. So see you in the next video.